are on. Okay. Hello, my name is Ty Eden, and um, this is our reformer section of the uh, test out. Thanks for coming and helping me out with this. Now, do you have any pre-existing conditions, any limitations physically, recent injuries? Um, just I have a little bit of neck issues. Okay. But, so are you okay with chest lifts? Yeah. And if not, I'll put it behind my head. Um, and, and as, as kind of a modification? Yeah. Okay. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with beginner move on uh, footwork. So go ahead and lay down. Adjust your headrest to whatever level is comfortable for you. Arms laying comfortably down by your side. Let's go into heels on and a Pilates V. So I want those uh, toes to be about fist width distance apart. And if I have to cue you in any way, are you okay with me? Yes. Just a point touch here and there? Sure. Okay, awesome. All right, so now I want you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, fill that rib cavity with all that nice fresh air. And as you push that carriage out, I want you to ex exhale that air, activating those abdominal muscles, pulling that belly button back in towards the spine, up into your diaphragm, activating that lower body. So we're looking to, um, as you're bringing your legs together, you're wrapping those muscles on the back of those thighs around, bringing those knees together. Each time we're pushing out, nice exhale. And as we draw that carriage in, we're looking to activate those hamstrings and glutes and draw that carriage back all the way into the stopper. And let's go one more. And we'll go ahead and stop right there. All right, now what I'd like you to do is, is we're going to go arches on, toes wrapped over the top of that foot bar, and then let's connect our knees, heels, toes, all right? And then let's go ahead and push that carriage out once, and then draw it back in. Now let's increase the difficulty just slightly. Take your right foot off and put it into tabletop, so the knee is directly over the hip, the heel is in alignment with the knee. Go ahead and push that carriage out and pull that carriage all the way back in, nice and slow. So we're not looking for speed, we're just looking for nice fluid motion, consistent, making sure that we're connecting our mind and our body together. So let's go two more. And one more. And then we're good right there. Okay, so let's set that foot down. Now let's go to toes on parallel. So our feet are going to be about hip width distance apart. Our heels are in alignment with our knees, in alignment with our uh, hips. And then what we're going to do is, is I'm going to have you lift the left leg up into tabletop for me. And then go ahead and when you push that carriage out, when you return, I want you to extend that leg out over the foot bar and then bring it back into that nice perfect tabletop. And when you bring that leg back, make sure that you're conscious of having that knee not go any higher than the hip. Perfect. All right. Now the next one, our extension, I want you to pause. Extend that leg to the ceiling. And as you return the carriage, I want you to drop it over the foot bar and raise it back up towards the ceiling. And this becomes one of our more advanced uh, footwork moves. Point the toe on the way up, flex it on the way down. Let's go one more. And we'll be done right here. All right, excellent. All right, so now we're going to go into bridging. So we're going to maintain our same spring strength, which is two reds and a blue. I know that you haven't put your headrest up, but if you did, put it down at this point. So what we're going to do is, is uh, let's go heels on. So we'll go the most basic and easiest one that we can. Make sure your heels, knees, and hips are all in alignment. And then what I want you to do is I want you to articulate up and down. So articulate, we're going to curl our hips, curl our pelvis, pointing that tailbone up towards the ceiling, lifting up to about your shoulder blades, and then lay that spine down one vertebrae at a time, back down onto the carriage, uncurl those hips, 
Let's do it two more times. Curl the hips, lift that spine up one vertebrae at a time, then lay it back down one vertebrae at a time, like taking a piece of tape off of a surface and laying that tape back down onto that same surface. Now let's go up one more time, and then I want you to pause. And now what we're going to do is, is we're going to do a hinge bridged. So I'm going to flat back, hips down to the carriage, articulate up, flat back, back down to the carriage. Let's stop there. Now what I want you to do is, is I want you to give me a hinge bridge, so flat back up to our bridge. Now I want you to articulate down. So we're going to lay that spine down one vertebrae at a time until we get to our, our hips. Perfect. Now let's pause there. A good variation for this can be, let's take our right foot and set it down onto this gray, gray platform here, mm -hmm. just the right foot. And then I want you to do that same hip hinge up, and this time hip hinge back down. And this is a good test to see which foot might be doing more of the work. Now, one more, and then set them back down. Now let's switch feet so the right foot is on the bar, the left foot's on the platform, and then go ahead and hip hinge up and then down. And you should feel a little bit different work between the two legs on being at a different surface level. Okay, so now we're going to, um, let's go both legs onto the reformer and Let's first, let's go ahead and put our legs, thread our, our legs through the circle. And we'll have the circle up about our, just, just above our knees, about thigh level. And we're going to be parallel. And let's go ahead and give me a hip hinge up. And then articulate down. The next hip hinge up, I want you to come up. And then give me three pulses on that circle out and then hip hinge down, and then go ahead and hip hinge up, three pulses. And this time I want you to articulate your spine down, and then hip hinge up, three pulses, articulate down. And this one I want you to articulate yourself up, three pulses, and then articulate your spine down. Uh, legs out into circle and left. Okay, now what let's do is let's take our legs out from inside the circle and let's place the circle in between our thighs. Again, just above our knees. We're gonna have a little bit wider stance on the foot bar. So probably externally rotate those feet slightly and then they're gonna be a little bit wider out towards the outside edge of the foot bar. And then let's go ahead and hip hinge up. Give me three squeezes on that circle and then articulate yourself down. Three squeeze, uh, go ahead and lift, three squeezes, and then articulate yourself down. Next time, hip hinge up, three squeezes, and then hip hinge down. All right, so now let's move on to a little bit more difficult on that. I'll take that uh, magic circle from you. Now what we're going to do is, uh, to increase the difficulty, we can go with our arches on. So let's go arches on, Pilates V. And because the heels are going to be a little bit easier, arches are a little bit more difficult. And then let's go ahead and articulate ourselves up. And then hip hinge down. Articulate up, hip hinge down. And on the next lift, I want you to lift and then pause. Can you lift your right foot up off of that foot bar into marching? And then down, left foot. And then we're just going to go into marching. I like to have the arches on for this. It's a solid spot for you to find your foot to that foot bar. On the, next, on the next lift of that left foot, I want you to pause, extend that leg up to the ceiling, drop that leg so the knee matches to the other foot, not any lower, back up to the ceiling, down to match the knee, back up to the ceiling, down to match the knee, back up to the ceiling, and let's place that foot all the way back down onto the foot bar. Go ahead and set your hips on down. So now let's go ahead and articulate ourselves all the way up. 
And what do we want to do next? I love it that this is on tape. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and set your hips on down. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, so now this time, because we're still in the in intermediate, um, hopefully I can edit this video a little bit. Uh, progression marching, alternate leg, lower left. Just on leg foot bar. Yeah, we did all three. All right, let's go to advanced. All right, so now we're going to do is let's try toes on Pilates V. And let's see if we can do, because this is going to be a lot more difficult with toes on and bridging. So let's go ahead and see if you can hinge hip up with toes on, keeping that uh, carriage tight to the stopper, and articulate yourself back down. Go ahead and hip hinge up. Articulate back down. Now let's articulate ourselves up. And then articulate yourself back down. Remember not to forget to breathe. So we want to exhale on that lift. Concentrate on keeping that reformer tight to the stopper. That's going to activate those hamstrings and those glutes. And then articulate down. And then let's pause there. Go ahead and disconnect those heels. So now we're in parallel. And then we're going to go ahead and hip hinge up. Now I want you to lift this right leg up into tabletop, back down, left leg to tabletop, back down, right leg tabletop, pause, extend to the ceiling, lower so the knees are equal, back up to the ceiling, back down one more time, and then let's bend that knee, put that foot back onto the foot bar, go ahead and articulate those hips all the way back down. We're starting to feel a little bit of work here. That's good. All right, so now the next one we're going to do is, is we're going to hip hinge up. And then I want you to push that carriage all the way out as far as you can. And then drag that carriage all the way back. This is a real emphasis on those hamstrings and glutes, trying to keep those hips up. Let's go one more time. And then let's go ahead and articulate our hips back down. You can shoot your feet up to the sky point and flex your toes, grab the back of your thighs or your calves, whatever's available to you. So now what let's do is, is let's go into supine hands and straps. So go ahead and reach back behind you. So we're going to be on our back. Okay. We're just going to reach over our shoulder, grab those long loops. Shorter loops can be a little more difficult. It's up to you, whatever difficulty level you like. Let's bring each foot up into tabletop is what you already have. Arms are extended straight to the ceiling. We're going to basically lower our hands down to that carriage and then raise them back up. Try and keep those hands at or below the shoulder level as you raise those hands back up. Want to continue to try and maintain that nice neutral spine. So we should feel this in the lats with our knees in tabletop. We should also feel it in our lower abdominals. Now let's pause the next time our hands are up. From here, it's your option. You can do a chest lift as you lower your arms. And then back down, chest lift as you lower your arms. So we're only moving, we're only flexing the upper thoracic region of our spine here. If we can, try and maintain that nice neutral spine here. On the next time up, let's pause. Now option, you can extend the legs on the next and or add chest lift and leg extension, whatever may be available to you. So let's do three. So we're doing both the leg extension and the chest lift. So this ups the ante, it increases the difficulty a bit on this a bit. One more. And then let's go ahead and stop right there. Go ahead and put your feet back on the foot bar. Now we're going to go legs and straps, or feet and straps. So push that carriage away, loop one foot into the strap, put pressure on it. So now our feet are directly up to the ceiling, but we want to try and maintain that neutral spine, that space in our, our lower lumbar region that's kind of like a little air pocket. So the cue is, is keeping that tailbone planted down onto the mat or to the uh, carriage. So let's go ahead and lower our legs down towards that foot bar. Sometimes some people, they'll lower too far and they'll begin to arch that lower back. 
and then that's where you can start creating some issues and problems. As you lift those legs, you want to feel that scooping in those lower abdominals. We want to maintain this neutral spine throughout. Next time, lifted pause. Put your feet into a nice Pilates V for me. So we're externally rotated and go ahead and lower and then lift again. And then we're good here. All right, so one foot at a time, go ahead and bend your knees, take your feet out of the straps and we're gonna go to facing away from the straps, seated. So I'll have you scoot facing towards the center of the studio and then you can either sit crisscross, feet extended, okay. your option, and then let's have you get uh, your back almost touching those shoulder blocks, but I want you to have a nice neutral spine, shoulders directly over hips, and then let's go ahead and grab these straps. So the longer straps are going to be easier, shorter straps are gonna be a little more difficult. I want you to lift your arms laterally beside you, up to about your shoulder blades, always keep an eye on those uh, hands out of your peripheral vision. B elbows are bent and we're gonna try and touch our fingers in front of us and then abduct our arms out to the side. So we should feel our front body, abdominals turn on. So this is a total upper body stabilization. Try not to lean back if you can into those um, shoulder rests. Let's go one more. and then let's go ahead and pause there. Now, let's lower our arms so our inside of our elbows are right against our shoulder blades, or I mean are against our ribs. And then we're gonna, with our palms up, we're gonna extend our arms out in front of us up to about armpit height, maintaining those hands on uh, facing the ceiling, and then bring those elbows back, brushing across our ribs, extend out. Again, maintaining this whole nice neutral upper body. So again, a nice body stabilization exercise here. People with shoulder issues, this would be probably not a good thing to try and do, or the hug a tree. All right, now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna do arm circles or teardrops. So I want you to extend your arms down to your side. They'll probably go out over the sides of the outside of the uh, reformer, the sides of the uh, rail. And then what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna draw our arms up in front of us, out to a V, maintaining those palms towards the ceiling. And then as we lower our arms, kind of rotating those hands down, now turn our hands, rotate our hands facing the front. And then we're doing kind of a circle or teardrop with those arms. So we're going up in front, out to that V, and then down. So it circles. Again, a core body stabilization. This is a little bit more advanced, intermediate level. Let's go one more. And then we'll go ahead and stop there. Now, if sitting with your legs forward, you can do it. What I'm gonna do is, is we're gonna shave the head. So if you need to change your legs to crisscross or legs forward, I want you to hinge forward slightly at the hips bring your hands up to about the crown of your head where your thumbs are touching, possibly your fingertips are touching, and then we're going to push our hands out towards the opposite side of the studio towards those lights and then back. So we're really activating these triceps here. Shave ahead while we're starting at the crown of the head and then coming back. So this is a great tricep extension or tricep flexion. Let's go one more. And then we'll go ahead and stop there. Okay, let's go ahead and hang those straps up and then we're going to reposition ourselves on the carriage. So now what I'm going to have you do is, is I'm going to have you um, turn completely around and let's face the straps. All right. And then I'm going to have you kind of stack your legs. We're going to be seated. Our legs extended out in front of us and our legs we can push, put through the, uh, the shoulder blocks. There we go. And we're gonna go into chest expansion. So I'm gonna have you hold the straps, bring the straps down, actually a little bit more in front of you. Do you think pink or do you think about blue and a red? Blue and a red. Okay. Is it easier for you if it's on just a red? Well, we'll try this, and if it's too difficult, we'll change it. 
Okay. So with arms slightly in front of us, we're going to basically bring our arms back parallel to our hips and then back to in front of us. So you should feel those up the front of your body, those abdominals start to activate here, as well as those lat muscles. Let's do one more, and then we'll pause there. Now, rotate your hands so that they're palms up. Elbows are as high up as your um, armpits, and we're going to go into a bicep curl. So bring those little pinky fingers to your temples, and then extend those arms out. Try and maintain those elbows to the same height throughout, shoulder level. Let's go one more. Okay, so let's pause there. Now we're going to do a roll back, roll back with an oblique twist. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with arms straight in front, palms facing each other, and then to start the roll down, we're going to pull those straps in towards our chest, elbows uh, going laterally to the side, get that C curve, start that partial roll down back, and then I want you to look over your right shoulder like you're looking for traffic, t t pointing that elbow towards that direction, back to center, rotate the other direction, back to center, and then as you roll yourself up, extend those arms forward. So let's try it again. So we're going to pull those straps in towards our chest, roll ourselves back, rotating our torso to the right, pointing that elbow behind us as much as we can, also as looking, and then roll ourselves back up, extending those arms directly in front. So let's do one more time to be done with this. Get that nice C curve there. There we go. Back to center. Point that elbow back, following with the head, and then roll yourselves back up. All right, great. So now we're going to do is we're going to go into a teaser. So arms are going to be directly in front of us, okay? And then going to um, lift one leg. So we're going to partially roll ourselves back onto our sits bones, and then we're going to lift one leg up into tabletop the other leg up into tabletop, arms directly in front of us, and if it's available to you, you're welcome to extend those legs out to a full teaser or bent and tabletop for a teaser. All right, so we're done with that. <laughs> that was pretty simple. All right, so let's hang those straps up, and then we're going to go ahead and put the short box on. And let's see, so we're going to be doing side overs, so let's add some springs to this. That should be good. So go ahead and sit side over, short box abdominals, short box on. Oh, no, we're going to do a rollback. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and make sure you've got plenty of room behind you, at least three, four, five inches behind you. You're situated perfect on the extension of this carriage. Both feet are underneath the strap. So now we're going to do is um, go ahead and genie those arms. And then we're going to do a rollback. So we're going to tuck those hips. And then we're going to roll ourselves partially back and pause where we feel those abdominals activate. And then we're going to, again, do this oblique twist. So we're going to rotate, pointing this elbow towards the floor, back to center, other direction back to center, and then roll yourself back up one vertebrae at a time so you're perfectly shoulders over hips. So let's do it again. That C curve, roll ourselves partially back, twist towards the right, pointing that elbow towards the floor, center, point that elbow towards the other side, and then go ahead and roll yourself back up. Let's do one more time. Roll ourselves back, rotation, and then rotation again and then go ahead and roll yourself back up. Right now we're going to do side oblique uh, side overs. So I'm going to have you turn facing me. We're going to keep that top leg under the strap. The front leg can either be bent in front of you, hanging over the side. You can wrap the top of that foot underneath the, uh, the thigh. Make sure the hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. So we want to take I would start, put our, your hand down on the headrest, make sure your body is in nice, complete alignment. 
and you can place your hands either directly in front of you, hands behind your head, and let's take, get rid of the kickstand, get rid of that, uh, that hand. And now what we're going to do is, is, starting from that neutral spine, dip ourselves into the well and then back up to start. So you're a little too high. So the next time up, I want you to stop right there and go down. Keep that, uh, those shoulders square with those hips. And then one more time. And then back up, and then we're good. Excellent. So that's an intermediate. So now let's do is let's change this box to a long box. And we're going to go into pulling straps. So we're going to be facing the mirror. And then we need to change this, these springs. Let's go with just one red for you, just in case. So we're going to lay on the box facing the, the, uh, the mirror. So we want to make sure that posteriorly we've got our, our glutes activated, our hamstrings, our, our uh, calves are activated. Grab the straps. You can either hold them by the short loops, or if that's too short, you can always move your, hand, your grip up to the strap or to the metal. And we're pretty much going to be pulling straps. So I want the head to be in alignment with the back. Now, as you pull those straps back to our hips, and then back in front, pull those straps again, and then back in front. Now, the next time you pull those straps, I want you to start to flex or extend your spine so you're slightly lifting that upper body. Pull the straps, lifting that upper body, and then back down. So we're getting a nice back extension here. And then let's go one more. Pull and then release. All right, let's go ahead and hang those straps up. And what we're going to do is um, let's take the box off and we're going to go into um, some knee stretches. So it's a light spring. When you get onto the reformer, be very careful. I would put my hands onto the foot bar first and then the leg closest to the foot bar on and then the other. Let's put the soles of your feet so they're flat up against the shoulder rest. Toes are curled. So I want you to Put your hips down towards your knees. Reach for this foot bar so you have about a 45 degree angle on those arms and then a nice curve on your back. So now what we're going to do is, is you're going to extend this carriage just with the lower body, but I don't want you to go as far. So bring your legs all the way in. Now, when you extend out, I want the knees to uh, be directly underneath the hips. So extend out to where the knees are directly under the hips, a little bit too far. So extend out right there. All right, right there. You feel it? Yeah. Right there, a little bit too far. Right there. Okay, all right, let's bring that carriage all the way in. So now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna do um, a down stretch. So down stretch, I want the shoulders to be directly over the hands, over the bar. And then we want to make sure that we've got a nice neutral spine here. And the head is gazing just like that. You've got the carriage pulled all the way to the stopper, so you feel where that's at? OK, so that's where you want your start to be, all right? So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to push the carriage out with our upper body, extending our arms like we're going out over our head, maintain that nice neutral spine to the degree that you can go. And as you pull up, you're pulling with your entire rib cage. So both sides of the body, as well as the front here, the abdominals, and we're pushing, pulling up. Excellent. You don't want to have the, the booty stick out. You want to keep this nice neutral spine. So we're really working from the hips all the way up to our shoulders. Let's go one more, and then we're good. Excellent. All right, so now let's go and jump on here for the springboard. So we're going to lower this foot bar down to the lowest. Place this in here.
Okay, we're yep. set in there. Yep. All right. So now what I want to do is let's just have you lay on down and then place your feet in, um, in parallel so the whole sole of your foot is on the, on the board. Keep the carriage all the way tight to the stopper. So then your toes are really towards the top part of the, bo of the board. So important with springboard is, why am I fixing hair off you? Um, the important thing with the springboard is that when we push off, we're lifting our heel. And then the last thing that leaves the footboard is our ball of our foot or our toes extending our legs completely. And when we come back, we're landing on our toes and then our knees. So our, our hips, our knees, and our ankles are really serving as a shock for that return. So we don't want to thump back down onto the board. We want to nice, graciously just land on it. So we're activating our abdominals to keep those legs raised. Think about landing in the same spot that you took off from. And one more. And let's pause there. Now let's connect our heels so we're in a Pilates V. So you might be up a little bit higher on that board. And now keeping those heels together, let's go ahead and do the same thing. So we're going to keep our heels together and then push in. So as you push out, think of wrapping those thighs around behind the, the muscles behind your thighs, bringing those knees together. And then when you land, that nice soft landing with those toes and then to the heels. And one more. And then we'll stop there. Now, in parallel, we're going to go and do some mogul, uh, moguls. So we'll start with our feet parallel. And then when we take off, when we push away, then we're going to want to land with our feet slightly to the side. I want you to concentrate on keeping this hip down so you may not want to land as far, okay? And then push out and then back. So again, try and concentrate on that, that hip that you're turning away from stays planted onto the, onto the uh, carriage. Again, the same landing and pushing off. So we're, we're actually landing in a little bit different spot Still activating those abdominals, but as we're turning our hips, trying to keep that hip down, we're actually activating a little bit of our obliques as well. One more. And we're good. All right. So, and the very last, let's take this board out of here. And I think board, we can also double this as a nice wedge. So if you wouldn't mind getting off of the reformer for me. So if you have, if you're pregnant or you can't have your head down below your heart, you need your head up above your heart, you can lay back on the board and it can serve as a nice wedge to elevate your head, neck, and shoulders. And that's what we have. That's it. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I just stumbled in a spot or two, but that wasn't too bad.